In Rome Fantasy Pack 1, there is a large library of props to help decorate and bring life to your project. So let's head into the RFP1 Blueprints folder and drag a BP Props Blacksmith Blueprint into the scene. This one contains all the props related to a blacksmith. So here we have uh, an anvil. I'll just duplicate that. And we also have a stump. And you can take your anvil and put it right on top of the stump. Scale it down. That's cool. We also have a grinding wheel. Some blacksmith tools like this hammer. And what's nice about all the props is that these are unwrapped and they all have custom normal maps on them. Some of them share the same texture like the hammers and the tools, but they all have really nice high quality normal maps. BP props common are props you'll generally see around the map. Ladders, hay piles, there's lanterns, we have overhead shades you can put on walls above, um, above windows. Let me change this back to a bench. And if we enable random Z rotation, it'll just randomly spin the object around. And this is useful if you just really want to get quick variation in the map. So if we have like this hay pile, and we drag another one, they both have different rotations. It's just for variety's sake. And here you have a lantern on option. So if we switch to uh, one of the two lanterns, we have lantern, which is just a standard, a standard lantern that just sits. And then we have one that's wall mounted. And uh, by default, they're turned on. So if we go in the shadow here, you can see. And we just turn it off by turning off the lantern on checkbox. BP Prop Shop contains props that you might see in and around people's homes or shops. So we have barrel, we have the closed version of the barrel, we also have the barrel lid, uh, various baskets, closed versions of them, we have uh, some bowls, some decorative bowls, uh, we have coins, really small ones. They're double-sided, there's normal maps, and they're seamlessly painted, just like all the other props. We have a big large wood cask, and a lot of other stuff you should look at, including the uh, Roman pots. We have random Z rotation, so we can just move it around. We also have random scale, so you can get some scale variety as you're dragging things around. We also have a trunk, and if we change the trunk lid rotation, we can open and close it. What's also cool about all the props and walls in this pack is that the materials that are applied all utilize vertex colors for stains and roughness. So if I have my barrel here and I go to paint uh, black on the red and the alpha channels, the red channel will add stains to the surface, while the alpha channel reduces the roughness on the surface. So this is going to be a very glossy looking barrel, if that's what you want. Let me do this in the sunlight here so you can see. So you can simulate kind of like a, a wetness look on all these surfaces. You can also just paint red on vertex color just to get the stained look. That's great for just color variety, especially when things are grouped together. We have a couple foliage objects under BP Foliage. This is a cypress tree. It has a little bit of wind. You can disable the wind if you like. We have random scale, which is enabled, and we have random Z rotation. So we need to drag it around. It's going to spin and grow, or we could just turn them off. You can also do a scale override when the random scale is disabled, so you don't have to just use the scale key. You can just do this. We have a grass clump, in case you want to just manually place a grass clump or two. Another type of grass, and they both have wind. All those assets, though, are paintable in the foliage painting mode. 
And lastly, we have some food props under BP food. So here we have an apple, we have artichokes, we have two types of bread, two loaves rather, we have cabbage, we have corn, oranges, peaches, pepper, red onion, which is really cool, and mushroom. And these are all seamlessly painted and they have normal maps on them, so they look really nice in the sunlight.